Thanks for tuning in. Today we are going to be throwing on the Chicane 1552 wheels on the bucket. I'm hoping that it's going to give me a little bit more aggressive look with the offset sitting a little bit more flush with the fenders and not so far in. And while the wheels are off, I'm going to be throwing on these DBA rotors. Wish me luck because I don't really have a tire friendly place that I usually deal with here in Fallbrook. So I have to go to some random and just hope for the best. Okay, now that I have these BBS wheels back on the car, just instead of jack stands, let's get these chicanes loaded and the tarmacs loaded and I'm off to the local tire store. So I got the wheels and tires loaded up in my truck. I'm headed to a local spot here in Fallbrook. It's right down the street from the Fallbrook Kook. So hopefully that has nothing in common. So we're gonna go give this a go and support the local business and see how that treats me. Otherwise, it's a 15, 20 minute drive to Temecula where I can go to more of a corporate spot like Discount Tire or American Tire. But I'm all for the small business owner and hooking them up the best I can in these times. My truck has the worst front right wheel bearing ever. I need to swap that out soon. Any left hand turn movement at all you can hear it hum listen i won this truck That's back in sorry. 2004. Take a sharp right turn onto north brandon road all right here we go we're almost there what's this place called at the light turn olive left tire the shop it doesn't look too crowded arrived Looks like there's only like one person working. Let's go have a talk. Nice little local spot. Probably so drop off the tires, maybe go grab a taco. We'll say what's up to the Fallbrook Kook. Do a drive by finger. I have some wheels and tires. I called just about 20 minutes ago about getting them mounted up. Uh, tires swap from one wheel to another. I can leave them if you want to have a look. And... It's all about supporting the local business. I have to say I would feel a lot more comfortable if this was America Tire or Discount Tire. But then again, I've been to those places and there are a bunch of like high school kids just wrecking shops, scratching wheels, denting fenders. So I feel like these guys are gonna take the time, do a good job. Oh. I go to grab this box. Yeah, and I fucking dropped the wheel. So yeah, now one of my wheels has a little curb rash from where I dropped it in the parking lot when the box opened up on me. That freaking sucks. But you know what? That's not gonna be the last scratch that wheel sees. I guarantee it, it's gonna get some gravel time. So no harm, no foul. Now I'm gonna swing by the local taco shop, grab some food, go grab some tacos. Fallbrook Kook. Don't do it! This is what I'm talking about. Gonna get some. And put it in your mouth. I got two tacos, but I think I'm gonna be one and done. Just got back to the wheel shop. Looks like they're done ghetto rigged truck
Rudy here at Olive Tire Shop in Fallbrook is rad. So if you guys are local here at Fallbrook or Oceanside, Vista area, hit up Rudy at Olive Tire Shop. He'll take care of you. Tell him Bucky sent you. He did an awesome job and he did it in like 30, 40 minutes. I can't wait to show you guys what these wheels look like. So I just got a call from Metro Performance and they said that my stubby open end lug nuts are in. So I'm gonna head on out there and hope this truck makes it with the bad wheel bearing that it has. Hello, I'm looking for some nuts. <laughs> yeah, these look way better than my old nuts. We got some uh, engine building going on I here, do. or is this Why, yes, putting it back together or taking it apart? You know, there's bench and block, sleeve, O-ring. All right, maybe we'll go see a pool. Go see how to, yeah. is Sean over there? Sean's over there, yeah. All right, let's go see if we can watch a pool. Now let's put these wheels on the bucket. Look at those sexy wheel liners. Rock Blocks is making samples of these wheel liners as we speak. While I do this rear tire change, I'm going to throw on those DBA rotors. I'm gonna pull this brake caliper off, pull this rotor off, slap on this new DBA rotor. But first, before I do so, I'm gonna make sure it's the right lug pattern. Yay! So while I got you here, let's talk about some of the things I have coming up. Tomorrow, which is probably gonna be more like today, since you guys are gonna be seeing this video tomorrow, I have a demo with Airbnb for the Olympics at Tony Hawk's Warehouse with Tony, Jimmy Wilkins, Andy McDonald, Kevin Staub, Lizzie Armato, and Sky Brown. There'll be a live Zoom feed, a Q&A. There's going to be some history of skateboarding tricks along with some freestyle skating as well where we'll just be turned loose to do some tricks. The other ones are so much easier. Oh, you know what? One second here. There you go. Gotta okay, remember to take off the e-brake. Got some Senlot in there. Spray some degreaser. Clean this rotor. Because it does have some film on it from the packaging that I can see clearly. I need to adjust my handbrake. I have no idea how to do that. I've never done it. And I do not feel like fucking that up. Looks like you can do it right here. I'm adjusting it. It's gonna be good. Did about five turns. I swear I wouldn't last five minutes on Naked and Afraid because of damn flies. They bug the shit out of me. I can't stand flies. I walk around with fly traps on my ears, like earrings. Yes. It doesn't seem like there's really a right and wrong way for these rotors to go on. They go both directions. They go both ways. Oh, so I have the skateboard demo tomorrow. And then... <sighs> and then I have a fishing trip on Friday and a fishing trip on Saturday. I have this one fly that's bugging the shit out of me right now. You guys are about to see me lose it.
Okay. All right, time to put the wheel on. Well, I have the rear one mounted, and I'm saying the offset and fitment is it's tight and right, baby. It's tight and right. Now we're going to be putting on this rear DBA rotor. I also have the blue RS swap coming up. This weekend, I have Lance helping me refresh that JDM motor that I picked up from JDM California. We're going to be going over that motor and replacing things like the clutch, uh, valve cover gasket, and whatever else we find necessary to replace. Get the blue car ready for the swap, which will probably be happening in the next two weeks. Ouch. Oh my god, that should not be that hard. Makes me worry a lot actually. Oh my gosh, that did not just happen. Yeah, that is for my brake caliper. That's not good. I knew I didn't like the way that felt. So now I gotta fix that. Wow, awesome, one more thing to do, and it fucking flies around my head to top it all off. Things just never stop to get interesting working on a 20 plus year old car. So I'm going to have to drill that out. Well, there's not much I can do about it now. I still got to put this thing back together. Well, goddamn, man. Now I got to freaking deal with a broken bolt in my caliper. I think I'm just going to put it back for now and fix it when I can go somewhere to fix it. At least, at least the car will be a roller. So yeah, I just put the caliper back on the way it is now with the broken bolt in there. I couldn't get it out. It's something I'm gonna have to address later. I just wanna get the wheels back on it, get some glamour shots for you guys, and then I'll address this issue later. Well, that broken caliper bolt really put a damper on today's video. I wasn't able to go out and drive and get some rolling wheel shots for you guys. But the wheels look awesome. And for everyone out there that has given me shit for these past two years for not adjusting my handbrake, I finally did that. So hit me up in the comments. You guys take care. Have a good day. Thanks. Bye. Paul Brook Cook. <laughs>